Is God of War Ragnarok the end of Kratos' journey? Will any follow-up games now only be played from the perspective of Atreus? And maybe his journey to find and free the remaining giants across the Nine Realms? Personally, I think Kratos is such a lovable character, going from that god killer that he used to be, to now being that one trying to lead by example in war, or generally to his son, however constantly being reminded along the way by his haunting and traumatising past. And he has to learn firsthand and grow with Atreus and learn to be that father that Faye wanted him to be without that mother figure in Atreus's life, which I can't imagine would be easy. Finally, towards the end of the game, being more at peace with Atreus going off and doing his own thing. And that was, of course, finding the rest of the giants that may be scattered in these marbles around the rest of the realms. It turns out the champion of the prophecy was, in fact, Kratos, leading the eight realms into war against Odin and of course taking out Asgard within Ragnarok, saving countless lives whilst doing that whilst Odin put the Midgardians in the way of Kratos and his army almost as collateral damage, and not just killing Odin for the sake of killing Odin, but transferring his soul out of his body and into a marble in which the giants had created, very similar to what they did when they were hiding from Odin. Of course, until Sindri snatched it out of Atreus' hand and smashes it. But today, I wanted to bring up this topic of discussion, is this the last that we see and play as Kratos in the God of War series? Can we expect another game to come out potentially? Will that game that does come out be in the perspective of Atreus? Or will we go back to Kratos and continue that journey one final time? There may be some story spoilers throughout this video, so just bear that in mind before you do go forward into the video. Please do consider leaving a like on today's video, it would be very much appreciated, and subscribe to the channel for more gaming story content coming each and every single day. But let's dive straight in. The ending of God of War Ragnarok has left us on a bit of a cliffhanger. Atreus goes off searching for the remaining giants and their marbles across the remaining shrines within the rest of the eight realms that are available, whilst Kratos, Mimir and Freya tackle the remaining tasks left to complete across these eight realms. Look, I'm personally just over 30 hours into my playthrough of God of War Ragnarok and I've nowhere near completed uh, even half of these additional tasks that I've got to do in the epilogue or just things around the eight realms. With still a couple of big bosses to fight in, even discovering large areas and portions of the different realms as well that I wasn't able to do within the campaign itself. But it's what happens after that which remains a mystery to everyone right now unless you've 100%ed the game. Where will the story go next? What will happen to the characters that once came from Asgard? Angraboda and Loki in mythology are in fact married and together, having their sons Fenrir Hel, which I presume is the eagle within Helheim, and Jormungandr. So what will be made of that too? This is where I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and theories down below in the comments as to where you think this story might go next. But I do have a couple of ideas as to where I think the storyline of the game could end up, which we'll talk about a bit later on into the video, but ultimately, I think the development studio will see the success of this game and decide to go ahead and create a threequel, turning this into an outstanding trilogy, and I think they would be extremely naive not to do that. I mean, all great franchises most of the time will come in packages of three, right? Take of course the original Halo, Combat Evolved, Halo 2, Halo 3, Gears of War 1, 2 and 3, and even the original Modern Warfare and Black Ops trilogy. Both of them all came in threes. I just think finishing this off at Ragnarok will be crazy, and it just doesn't make any sense to me, especially with that ending. However, this game is heavily based on actual mythology from, I believe, between the 10th and 13th century within Scandinavia, and it goes into detail in all the events relating to Ragnarok, using all of the same god names and sneakily linking and piecing together these different things as well, with the likes of Angraboda, Loki, Fenrir, Jormungandr, those sorts of things as well. The developers have done a really, really good job of that. However, as you do continue to start reading through this mythology, it does mention that some of the gods, in fact, come back. One in particular, Boulder. Now, this is especially interesting because we defeated Boulder at the end of the first game, but could he make a return? And will they follow the rest of this mythology? As it's been pretty accurate up to now. However, on the other hand as well, coming away from that Scandinavian mythology a little bit here as well, it was mentioned in the 2018 God of War that originally Santa Monica, the developing studio, were thinking of going to ancient Egypt and just coming away from that Scandinavian lore completely. However, ultimately they decided to go with that and that's why we have the likes of Odin, Thor, etc. around the likes of Midgard and having the Nine Realms and stuff like that. So what if this new game again comes away from that completely and then we go to ancient 
ancient Egypt or come away from that Scandinavian side of mythology but go towards the more ancient Egypt side of things or go towards another set of things. There's so many different bits of mythology out there for different cultures that would be really, really cool. Or do you want them to, the final game, go to another area? Because, of course, we've still got a lot of these gods that are involved from this Scandinavian mythology. So, involving that and also linking that in with Egyptian as well? Look, I don't know how that would be. I don't know how people would think about that. But I would love to know your thoughts and opinions down below as to what you think about that. Look, for me, there would be no reason why Boulder should come back. He was clearly killed off in the first game with Freya literally hunting down Kratos for years and years after the ending of the first game in order to try and get back at him. So if he just comes back and then Freya was successful in killing Kratos, it would have all been for nothing. With Freya probably also moving back to Vanaheim as well and also Sif and Throod from Asgard moving there to Vanaheim to start their new life with the rest of the Asgardians that survived and even the Midgardians that were moved and saved in quotation marks by Odin and moved to Asgard. So, let's move on to a bit of theory here. I personally think that Atreus will go off as he did at the end of the game, complete his tasks, and will set all of the giants free that he came across, whether that's into their giant bodies or whether that's into animals that we've seen as a trend going into Ragnarok, with the likes of Fenrir and Garm, and also obviously the snake and the giant. This game will be set a couple of years into the future, where him and Angra Boda will get together essentially, and live somewhere in Jotunheim or live in Ironwood, wherever it might be, whilst Kratos and Mimir will remain somewhere in Midgard, probably within their cabin set in the middle of it. All of the snow and the ice will finally clear, marking the end of Fimble Winter and of course Ragnarok, with everything returning to the way that it was at the beginning of the first game, with all of the forests and the greenery coming back along with all of the wildlife too. Freya will lead the Vanir and the Valkyries within Vanaheim, with Sith and Thrud helping them as well, creating a very large community and bringing that atmosphere and life back to Vanaheim. I think Tyr will also be around helping keep peace between the additional eight realms, excluding Asgard because that's been destroyed, working with the realms and being that middle man as he always reported was to be, with one day, Kratos getting a knock on the door, very much like in the first game where nobody really knew who it was, like that suspense. Kratos could just be kicking it back, chilling out, retiring from being that general or god of war, and then one day, just like that, it all begins. If it's not Boulder that returns like it mentions in the Scandinavian mythology, then it will be someone else to act as that new antagonist, someone that's maybe searching for Atreus, someone that maybe has been done wrong by Atreus, or along the way Atreus has made an enemy, or potentially it's someone that wanted to carry on what Odin started. Who knows, maybe it is Boulder. We just, again, it's not even been concepted or out yet, so these are just theories. The story would then follow the route of Atreus being forced back into Midgard to save his father unless Atreus shows him the path into Jotunheim then Kratos will be killed. To try and combat this, Atreus calls for Freya's help in which she and her Valkyrie army and the rest of the Vanir go with Atreus to try and help save Kratos. Who is this god you ask? Well it could be any of these really. We've had the likes of Odin, Thor, Boulder, Heimdall, Tyr and Njord already mentioned in there as well and they have lore around them but what about Vidar, Vale, Brag, Froy, Yule or Fosseti. These are all additional gods from Scandinavian mythology that we haven't, as far as I'm aware, heard of in God of War just yet, so potentially one of them could come back. I'm not a massive historian or on this mythology, so I will be completely honest, it was a quick Google search of some of these, but potentially one of these could be as following this Scandinavian mythology, but I'll leave it down to you guys. If anyone is more knowledgeable about it, leave it in the comments down below. I'm just, I'd love to be educated on it and to learn more about it. But I think a series of new gods that want to continue Odin's prophecy of finding the mask potentially that was lost and that Atreus obviously broke into two pieces towards the end of Ragnarok and trying to find additional areas of that knowledge crack. I think that will be where we go and maybe that was a massive tease towards the end of the game. I mean going into the next game and not having a mention of this mask or this crack in time or this knowledge crack that Odin was so obsessive about I think would be a little bit of a wasted opportunity. It'd be a little bit crazy to me. So I think that's personally going to be the aim of the next game. It'll be massively centered around this. We'll find the lore around it as well and that's where we will spend a lot of our time searching as well and potentially that holds the answers as to how to save Kratos or who this god is or whatever like that so maybe they can link it in somewhere like that as well this is again just complete theory but I would love to know your thoughts and opinions down below everyone where do you think the next god of war if there will be another one will be set what do you think the plot might be and where do you think the story and the lore is going to go 
as I mentioned, it would be ridiculous of the developers not to mention anything about this mask or this sort of knowledge crack anymore that Odin was obsessed about for absolute generations. So I think that may will be a, so I think that'll be a massive part of the new game. But along with, of course, having that different plot point as to what new god we're going to be fighting, who the new antagonist is going to be, what their motivations and goals are going to be. So let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, everyone. And I would love to read through and, uh, yeah, no matter how crazy they might be, leave them all down below. But that's going to be it for today's video, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, just leave a like on today's video. It would be very much appreciated. Subscribe as well if you're brand new for plenty more God of War and just general gaming story content coming on the channel. We're going to try and cover everything here now, I think. So it's going to be a good time to stick around and to learn everything in as much detail as possible. But without further ado, everyone, we'll see you all in the next one.